In his hammock, Mario Jardel is anything but a threat to opposing defenders. During his heyday, though, when Super Mario starred for Portuguese giants Porto and Sporting, the striker was one of the hottest properties in Europe. Now 38 and in the early throes of retirement, he can look back on a career that also took him to Turkey, England, Argentina and Australia. How important was football for me? Well, when I was small, in my childhood, I already knew what I wanted, and that was to be a footballer. But it was a huge struggle. It was very tiring. I remember leaving home for school at 5 in the morning and getting back at 11, then I would quickly eat my food and rush out to go training. I started with the Ciara junior team and progressed through their youth system. Then I moved to Ferroviario because my whole family supports them. I remember being in school one day and the headmistress told me that Eurico Miranda, Vasco's president at the time, had been in touch and he wanted me to go for a trial at Vasco da Gama. I left school full of joy and that's when it all started in Rio when I was 16. And that's it, football's my life. Jardel was one of Europe's most prolific strikers. In a seven-year period from 1996, the Brazilian scored an incredible 267 goals in just 274 games. Such potency in front of goal earned him three Player of the Year awards in Portugal, and he twice picked up the coveted Golden Shoe as the continent's leading marksman. I'm a striker and everybody knows that if you don't score goals, questions will be asked. So I really tried and I had 12 years playing at the highest level because I knew the demands were high, especially because my salary was high. I scored almost 500 goals in my career, with more than 400 scored in Europe. To me, that's the joy, the satisfaction that makes me sleep well. I kept my goal-scoring average quite high over 10 years, and I was rewarded with material things, self-pride and personal achievements. And this is a little bit of my history. As successful as he was at club level, Jardel never really made an impression on the international scene. With Romario, Bebeto, Ronaldo, Rivaldo and Ronaldinho also on the scene, he was restricted to just 10 appearances in the colours of the Seleção. When you look at what I achieved, any other player would have been part of a national team. I was Europe's top goal scorer during 2002, and yet I didn't take part in that World Cup. I ask myself to this day, was it the will of God that it happened that way? I don't hold any grudges against anyone, but I can't forget what happened. Can you imagine being one of the world's top strikers and not being part of your national team? It's not easy to forget, but I have to put it behind me. In 2009, with his playing days nearing an end, Jardel decided to return to where it all began, rejoining Ferroviario 20 years after he'd left. He finally hung up his boots last year, calling time on a glittering career that was sadly tarnished by some off-field misdemeanors a decade or so ago. I regret having used drugs and hurting people because of them, especially my children. But today I am well, and there's nothing better than being respected in society again. I want to use my suffering as an example to others. I want to use what I went through to help others in my city and to help myself overcome that bad period which turned my life upside down. My life has always been about football and now that I've stopped I have to admit that it really hurts. It's a very bad feeling, knowing that your career has or is coming to an end. You feel this huge emptiness, but you have to be strong and find the strength to start again. I pray to God, and my wife has really helped me with a lot of problems I had, especially dealing with my career coming to an end, because it feels like a knife through the chest when I have to watch footballers on TV. 
Sadly, the career of a player is short, and we get old. So I've decided to take a coaching course, so I can pass on everything I've learned during my football career. I want to qualify and become a good coach, a good teacher, re-enter the world of football and teach those people who want to learn. So it is sad that I've stopped playing, but I'm starting a new era in my life. I'm very happy and I want to send a big hug and best wishes to all of you. After a difficult 12 months or so, Super Mario appears to be back on track. And it's great to hear that the next generation looks set to benefit from his considerable knowledge.